This was the day my childhood died. I was meant to interview my heroes, Smash Mouth, at my favorite place in the world, the Columbus Zoo, but the events of that day would turn my world on its head. This is the story of a man who tried to shine, but didn't know how to glow. It all started that morning. All right, everyone. So tonight, we're going to go see Smash Mouth. Now, we got together this gift bag for him to let him know how appreciative we are of them coming to our town. So let's see what's inside. Uh, first thing we got them, a bag of cheddar jalapeno crunchy Cheetos. Who doesn't love those? We got them a thing of miracle bubbles, because God knows they need a miracle. Uh, got them this tropical fruit medley candle. Oh, it smells great. Got them, oops, that's mine. And we got them a card, a thank you card, letting them know how appreciative we are. So yeah, let's see what happens. But when we got there, things took a turn for the worst. So we're backstage, waiting to hear from Smash Mouth's manager to see if we can get a, an interview with them. But unfortunately right now, it's not looking likely. Though things were looking bleak, we were able to make some phone calls and get the ball rolling. And suddenly, it looked like things were going to turn around. So we just heard from Smash Mouth's manager. Looks like we're gonna be able to get an interview backstage. In the meantime, let's enjoy the event and see what we can find. As we got ready to experience Smash Mouth, we touched base with all the fans who were doing the same. All right, here we are with Michael. Now, he's a kettle corn salesman. Now, I know that you're right here by the stage for Smash Mouth. Are you pretty excited to be this close to the legends themselves? I don't know who they are. You don't know Smash Mouth? Michael, how old are you? 17. There you have it, folks. 17-year-olds in America, unsure of Smash Mouth. Would you say that Smash Mouth is in, like, top three of your favorite bands? Um, probably, probably top three. I mean, have that CD at home in a CD player, you know, before MP3s were a thing, so. Now, what would you say are some of the most inspirational songs of Smash Mouth? Oh, don't put me on the spot like that. This beer is called The Farmhouse. I always wanted to have The Farmhouse. How about that? Look at that. Now, George, what would you say you're most excited to hear from Smash Mouth tonight? Uh, Are you looking forward to any of their hits off of their first album or just stuff from Astro Lounge? I have the helpline right here. Go ahead, help me. Walking, walking on the Moon? On the moon? Yeah, yeah, Walking on the Moon's a song by the police. All right, here we are with Zeke, big music fan. Now, Zeke, what are you excited to see tonight? I'm excited to see the women dancing and group. Perfect. This tastes a little bit like Miller High Life. Really nice, smooth taste. Goes down smooth. And um, I think the women like it too. This event has nothing to do with video games. If nobody's into it, he doesn't get into it, he gets a little pissed off. Everybody's been drinking since like 5.30, 6 o'clock. Fine, let's start throwing stuff. Now, are you guys excited to see Smash Mouth? Sure. Sure. I cannot express how excited I am. Like, All-Star, I'm like, I'm gonna stand on top of that truck and just jam out. Like, I think you could shoulder pads. Nice. I'm, I'm pretty that sure this is, is awesome. a, I'm pretty sure it's a women's jacket. You pull it off. Thank you. Now, what are you guys' names? Tina. Ike. We got Ike and Tina. Turner, I assume. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? That's a great question. I mean, how do you pick one? I haven't seen this since 1999, so, you know, really excited to relive that experience. What was the best part of that experience? Uh, I mean, everything? So this is the VIP area. Predominantly white. As the sun set on that summer day, however, after wading through the chain of Smash Mouth's command, it looked like things were taking a turn for the worst again. So we just heard from Smash Mouth's touring manager. They were gonna let us back there earlier, but then they saw my suit and said I look like a clown and they don't want to do an interview with me. So we'll see. Even though we jumped through all the necessary hoops, sent the right emails, made the right phone calls, it didn't matter. We were being treated as any other member of the crowd. None of it made sense to me. You think when you meet your heroes, they're going to be as great as you remember them in the 90s. All of my video games held up the same from back then. Why couldn't Smash Mouth? By this point, tensions were high. 
All hope and tact had been abandoned. My diet for the day had turned me into a creature of pure bullheaded desire, and I was determined to get results. I don't give a fuck, we're interviewing Smash Mouth! But it wasn't meant to be. I was already on my knees, groveling for a chance to meet my heroes. But security felt the need to kick me further, down onto my back. I would never interview Smash Mouth. And that brings us back to where we left off. Some things in life just aren't meant to be. All in all, I was pretty disappointed. This could have been a wonderful stage for both me and Smash Mouth to shine. But that opportunity was snatched from us by busybodies who didn't care how much it meant to me, how much it would mean to my viewers, how much it would mean to us all. I'm not sure if there's a lesson to be had here, honestly. Sometimes you just don't get what you're expecting. No matter how much you try or do everything right, things don't always come to fruition. I'm sorry if you were expecting a hilarious interview. Honestly, I was too. But I guess that's life.